everybody, I'm back this week to do a fun little 4th of July recipe. Because the 4th is this weekend, I want everybody to have a good time. So, we are going to make raspberry pie in the microwave. I know, crazy! But, what you're going to start out with, if you're using fresh raspberries, since tis the season like I am, you're going to get a microwavable measuring cup. You're going to put about a cup of your raspberries in there. Take a cup of water. Pour that in there with them. It might come up to about the cup and a half line. That's just because it has the raspberries in. So we're going to stick this in the microwave for two minutes. <coughs> While that's in the microwave, we're going to get our mixing bowl here. Microwave, of course. We're going to put three-fourths a cup of sugar in there. Then we're going to get three tablespoons of cornstarch. Put that right in there with the sugar. Okay. We're gonna take our spoon. We're just gonna make sure we get the cornstarch mixed into the sugar. You, um, you can use frozen raspberries for this recipe. Um, you're going to need uh, five cups total. Um, you're going to have your raspberries in a big measuring cup over here because you'll mix those in eventually. If you use frozen raspberries, um, keep them in the bag while they thaw. And um, right before you're ready to do this, like cut the edge of it and drain a, the juice into a cup. Um, as much juice as it'll take. You need a cup of liquid. That's why I put a cup of this water in with these raspberries because we're making sort of our juice right now since we don't have the frozen juice. If when you um, drain your thawing raspberries into here, you'll have quite a, enough, add a little bit of water and you'll be okay. After we get this out, we are going to take our spoon and hold it against the tip and just drain the cup's worth of juice into our sugar and cornstarch mixture here. Make sure I have everything. Okay. You can see that the cup of water we poured in here is nice and dark now. We got juice from the berries. Just gonna slowly, you may end up with a few berries in there, that's not a bad thing. Okay, once you have the berry juice in there, you're just gonna slowly stir that. Sorry, I'm just making sure I have everything with my recipe. I'm very picky about my pies. Might take a little bit because you might see some chunks in there because it's the cornstarch. It is our lovely thickener. So we have our juices, we have our sugar, and our cornstarch. Okay, once you get that, let me rescue this one berry that tried to get away. Put him back in with the berries, because we're going to be folding that in later. We are going to put this back in the microwave for three minutes. It's going to be, it's a nice, probably pale purple color right now. That's the color it should be. Nice little purple. We're going to put it back in for three minutes, but we are going to do this on medium power. So you'll time cook 300, power level 5. We're going to do that for three minutes. Now when that comes out, we are going to mix in a tablespoonful of lemon juice, and then we are going to after, as we stir the lemon juice in, we'll stir it for a minute or two to let it cool down a little bit. We're going to fold in the rest of our raspberries. And what we need, for I wondering about the crust, you need a pre-made pot crust. Um, I bought, and this looks so good, look I got an Oreo pie crust. 
I just thought it would be cool to get an Oreo by grass. You can get whatever kind of crust you want. You get a graham cracker, shortbread. Whether you make a pie crust. Shout out for the shirt today. I just got it from Walmart when I was there. I was like, oh, it's $7.50. Yay. That's how I got my Jurassic World one that I had a few weeks ago. Um, although <laughs> they're amazing, they're cheap, they're comfortable, they're only like $7.50. But uh, watch when you wash them. A couple times you're gonna wash them, wanna wash them by themselves, because they tend to bleed out the color a little bit. Learn that the hard way. Whew. Sorry if I seem a little wetty. I just came in from picking the raspberries that I'm using for my recipe. But I wanted to get this made now so it can cool till tonight because um, when this comes out, uh, when the liquid comes out and you stir your raspberries in and you're going to fill your pie crust, I'm not going to be able to show you how I um, cut it because it does need to sit in the fridge for like half an hour to an hour just because you don't want like to cut into it right away and have everything go whoosh out of pie. And if you're wondering about a crust, I made a topping. Um, nothing really fancy. I just got a tub of Cool Whip to put over the top so I can sprinkle it with a few more of the fresh raspberries. Ta da! You have your topping. Um, after we do this for three minutes, we're going to stir it and see if it has started, started to thicken. If it hasn't started to thicken, we're going to do it for another minute on medium power again. microwave on medium power. Like I said, first three minutes, um, we want it to start to get a little clearer than it was and start to thicken up. Because this is the juice that is holding our pie together. Okay, I'm going to stir mine. It's getting there. I am going to do mine another minute. From now on, we are going to be just doing it a minute at a time because, um, as I've said often, every microwave is different and we just need to make sure it starts to get a little thick. The color's going to clear up a little bit. be done by now. If it is, then just take it out and you'll be folding in the... Whoop. Sometimes I forget that my microwave has that automatic. Like I want to, I'm gonna do mine for two more minutes because it's just not getting quite to that thickness I need. Like I said, every microwave's heating is different. It could be stronger. Yours may be done. You may need to do it a few more minutes like I am. Point being, you do a minute to two minutes at a time more just to get to the 
starting to, as soon as it starts to thicken up, you're going to take it out and you're just going to mix all these raspberries in and um, and the tablespoon of lemon juice. I almost forgot about that. Lemon juice, stir it a little bit, raspberries, pie crust. Um, a little bit crummy, but anybody who's pretty about pie crust are always just crumb a little bit. getting there. Sorry for the wait. Oh, I've made you guys wait longer for stuff, but hope you guys have a fun and safe fourth. I'm headed to the Martinsburg Parade tonight. Yay! And Saturday, the fourth, I'm going to have some friends over. Hot dogs, s'mores, sparklies. Nothing fancy, just fun. Okay. Mine is getting there. After this 30 seconds, we're going to take it out and I'm going to fold in everything and show you how it's done. Lemon juice. Once it has started to thicken up, you guys are going to pour a tablespoon of lemon juice in there. Just gives it that little bit of flavor it needs. It's going to look really funky when you pour it in. And that's because of the cornstarch. It is literally going to turn it like this. Um, I'll show you here. That's a lovely little reaction you're getting. It's going to turn into that color. And you are going to, right now you're smelling the cornstarch. But trust me, you fold these raspberries in. Gonna taste great. Now you dump the big four cups of raspberries in. And you just start stirring those in. So all the berries. You may end up having a few more berries than you need for your pie crust. You need about a nine to ten inch pie crust. Fresh raspberries. Fresh <laughs> grass is a hazard. Yeah, and you just keep stirring these in. You don't want to pour it into your pie crust while it's still super hot. You see some of the berries are breaking down, juicing, turning that juice back into a lovely raspberry color. Mine is starting to gel them together nicely. But yeah, you're just going to want to stir this for a few minutes. Cool it down, get all the raspberries. Soaked in the filling. Heat from the sauce is breaking them down in a good way. That's the way you want them to. But you can see they're going to start to look like this right now. It looks like you have a bit of a raspberry soup almost. Okay, you're going to bring your pie crust over, and you're going to slowly start to, I would even suggest, and this is just me, ladling, because if you pour it, you just, you just don't want to pour it, because you don't want to make a huge mess.
I see it's going to look a little runny. And that's not a bad thing because you are putting it in the fridge for a while before it's servable. Because as you can see right now, if you tried to serve this, you'd be cutting and goosh. I would suggest if it seems full up on sauce, like your sauce is up to your rim, using your ladle or your spoon, just getting out the berries. Don't want overflow. Sorry, I'm just getting my berries nice and level. And it's like I said, they're, you're going to have some extra. But it's not a bad thing. You can just eat it on some ice cream. Oh, because it does taste really, really good. Like I said, I have some extra. It's not a problem. But you want to be very careful. You prick your pie up because you don't want to be spilling, but okay, I cannot tilt this for you guys. I could sort of tilt it for you to see, but you just made a raspberry pie in the microwave. And now you take it to your fridge, you let it set for half an hour to an hour, you check on it. Um, if you get back after half an hour and you jiggle it a little bit and you don't see the sauce moving, you're good to go. Crack open your whipped topping. Tub or what the heck? Just take your spoon, scoop it out, smooth it over, sprinkle a few more raspberries. I would put my whipped topping on right now, but like I said, it's a little warm. So you guys go try this. Serve it at your picnic this weekend. <laughs> it looks so good. I'm just highly excited. Um, and enjoy. Shoot me some suggestions for next week. Maybe we'll go back to savory. Maybe we'll hit another mug meal. I have not decided. But thank you guys.